Easy at Home Crew, session five coming at you. Uh, we've got a warm up, we've got a tough Metcon, followed by some stretching to cool down. Warm up's gonna be two rounds, one minute of the Cat Camel, followed by one minute of Jefferson Curls. Workout today, death by burpees. Real simple, minute one, you're gonna do one burpee, minute two, two, minute three, three, all the way up to 20 minutes and hopefully 20 burpees. Don't worry, we do have a scale for you if you can't quite make 20 in one minute. Also, we're gonna finish off our stretch, like I just said, we're gonna chill out, stretch off all the bodies after we've just done this tough workout. I'm gonna bring Jimmy in now to go through the movement standards. Cool, so starting with the two rounds of one minute cat camel, bring yourselves down onto your knees and hands. And from here, we're gonna round off the spine as much as we can, get as much flexion in. We're then gonna ease ourselves to our neutral position and go to as much extension. So we're gonna go into this extension position, back to our flexion, keep rolling through the two for one whole minute. It's just easing up our lower back, and it ready for these burpees. From here, guys, we're gonna go into our Jefferson curl. So we stand up nice and tall. We're gonna start with chin on chest. We're then just gonna try round the upper back. So just trying to figure out where the upper back is. From there, around the mid back, finally lower back. And then from there, we're just gonna hinge all the way down, let ourselves just lengthen out, chill out in this position, stretching off our posterior chain. When we're done, we're gonna do the reverse on the way. I'm gonna hinge ourselves up a little bit, and then gonna try and flatten out the lower back, mid back, upper back, and then finally chin off chest, back to our stood up position. So two rounds, one minute cat camel, one minute chest and curls. When we've done that, death by burpees. So this is gonna be an EMOM. As long as you can, you're gonna perform this EMOM. Minute one, one burpee, minute two, two burpees, three, all the way up to minute 20. If you're unable to complete the required amount of reps within the minute, rest the next minute and then complete 50% of your last successful set up until the 20 minute cap. So if Jimmy gets up to minute six and can't complete then minute seven, he is then gonna take a minute complete rest, chills out for a full minute. So his last successful attempt was six. From then on, he takes 50% of that number. He's gonna do three burpees each minute on the minute until the 20 minute cap. Okay, so everyone's gonna be working for 20 minutes. Some of us might go straight. Some of us might get that one minute rest and then we just half the amount of reps of our last successful set. For the burpee, it looks like this. We start stood up, we bring ourselves down to the floor where hips and sternum touch, bring ourselves back in, little jump and clap at the top. You can jump down, or if you choose, you can step down. In the first couple of rounds, I'll probably step down, just letting that heart rate slowly creep up. As long as we hips and sternum touch, we jump and clap, I am happy with that. Guys, good luck on that section, that's gonna be hard. But when you're done, we get to chill out. Thank you, Jimmy, taking the shoes off. And we get to chill out. We're gonna do two minutes of the couch stretch. So we're gonna put our rear leg up onto the couch, bring our knee as close to the sort of upright of the couch as we can. From here, I want you to tuck your pelvis underneath and close down your rib cage. We don't wanna be in an extended back position here. To increase the stretch more, okay, we can squeeze our butt cheeks and you'll feel that stretch come up your quad. We're gonna do two minutes on one side, chill out, breathe through it, two minutes on the other side. When we've completed this, we're then gonna go into the pigeon stretch. So onto the floor, Bring your leg up and across. And then from here, we're gonna lower ourselves down so bring the hips down towards the ground and this is our pigeon stretch. If this is stressful on your front knee, you can just take the angle over your knee slightly and chill out there. From here, we can walk our hands forwards, dropping our body down to the floor. And we can also like, move our hands across the left-hand side, the right-hand side. We can play around, move around this position to increase that stretch on your glutes. So we're gonna do two minutes each side of the pigeon stretch. Next is the seated forward fold. So legs out in front of you, ideally feet together, straighten out the knees, push the knees down into the carpet. When we're in position, you can grab your legs, round off your upper back, mid back, lower back, and reach as far forward as you can. This one's gonna be huge. Big deep breath in. When you exhale, stretch yourself into that space you've just created. So big deep breath in, hold for a second, exhale, pull yourself into that space you made. You made. Okay, last one, nearly shoulder stretch, sometimes called the lat stretch. Again, knees and hands. We're then gonna send the hips towards the butt. We're then gonna walk the hands out in front of us and then slowly allow our torso to drop to the floor. Think about like bringing your head or your throat down towards the ground. We're trying to get a big stretch, uh, stretch down the lats. Guys, good luck on this. The death by burpees is notoriously hard, but you're gonna get a nice stretch session afterwards. Let me know your scores. Be wicked to see how you get on this one. Good luck and enjoy.